All right, I've been asked a few times to make a tutorial on dimple locks, and I've been seeing a lot of posts, people asking, what about dimple locks? Uh, how do you pick them? Um, and I guess the first thing to note is, um, so here's a standard pin tumbler lock. So this is your normal pin tumbler lock. You got a key that has um, you know, a bunch of uh, cuts to it, and you can see all the pins are resting at different heights in this cutaway. And when you put this in, it lifts them all to the same height. So you can see the cut on the bottom is all lined up with um, with the uh, what we call the shear line, which is between this plug and the housing. Right there is where all the pins are lined up. So they're lined at where the, the plug has to rotate. And that allows it to, to spin freely, right? You can look up a bunch of uh, tutorials on how to pick these online and how all the shear lines and stuff work. Um, but in a, in a pin tumbler, it's exactly the same. That's probably why you don't see a lot on pin tumbler, uh, on a dimple lock, sorry. You don't see a lot on dimple locks in particular. This is kind of a gross looking cutaway. But you can see you got the pins as well. Look, looks like this, right? There are different heights. And when you put the key in, they all go to the same height and it allows you to rotate. So this is a pin tumbler lock. It's exactly the same. It's just the only thing is that the key has been turned on its side. So if you look at this, you got, you got your key cut heights, right? And if you look closely at your uh, dimple lock key, you can see right here along this, you've got your different heights of cut. Okay, so different heights of cut. I don't know if I can get, can I get, mm, no, I can't focus that close. So maybe you can see you got different heights of cut right here along this. So if I were to cut away all this and cut away this and just leave that part, right, just that, that channel there, that's what's touching the pins and it would look just like this. Just not as extreme ups and downs, right? They're a lot smaller ups and downs. A lot, lot less room to travel because you can only cut the, the width of this key. Whereas here you can cut the whole, you can cut the height of the key, right? I mean, they only cut down to about this line anyways, but you can cut that whole amount, which is a lot bigger than, than this, right? Uh, it's not focusing, but if it were to focus, you can see you got a lot more room to play with, right? So when you put this in, it's going to lift all those pins up just the same way, all right? Your Euro style, downward, right? Um, and in you unlock it. So from a picking perspective, for, to bring this over and figure out a way that I can show this on camera. So maybe if I put it in like this, we can see almost nothing. Um, all right. Let's see if we can, this is going to be tricky actually. Let's drop the sandbag and we will move some stuff around. All right, there we go. You can even see my little monitor screen there. All right, so here we can see the, the different pins, right? And just like um, you've probably seen in a, a bunch of videos, you go to pick it and what you're going to do is you're going to go in here and you're going to see this this first pin is just it's loose you can see it's moving second pin's moving third pin is not moving so i got to lift that up um and i can see when i hit on it, it doesn't move so now you can see it's kind of jiggling fourth pin's jiggling fifth pin jiggling come back to the front again first pin is not not moving so i'll go ahead and lift up on that there we go now you see it's jiggling Second pin, also not moving, so I'll go ahead and lift up on that. Got a click and it's jiggling like that, right? Check the first one, make sure it didn't. So those are both jiggling. Third pin, jiggling. Fourth pin, it's stuck. So I'll go ahead and lift up on that and we're open, right? So then we'll go ahead and we'll grab the, um, the dimple lock here. And this is upside down, right? But it's just how it fits in the vise better. So we can, oh, it keeps getting loose. So we can just see what's going on. Um, and I have these uh, honest dong sheet. So I'll grab this, this first one here and it comes with this weird tensioner. Um, but we'll go ahead and use that. So I'll put that down the one side of it. So this is my tensioner, right? Just like I had this other one. All it's doing is putting rotating force. It's just, it's just fat because um, this one, if I tried to use it, it would just rotate in the QA. Uh, the main reason for that is that uh, if I had the key, there we go. Um, this key tends to be a bit, uh, it's, it's wider. Like the keyway is a lot more open than this, right? So uh, a lot of times when you try to use a, 
a normal pin tumbler um, tensioner in a, um, a dimple lock. It just freely rotates, right? So using a wide flat one, uh, you have a lot of room for this. And now when I go to lift up these pins, the, the problem usually is that this keyway is too slim in, in this direction to lift anything. Like if it was this direction, I could lift easily. But in this direction, it's too thin to fit anything. So what we do is we use a flag, which we can just rotate slightly, right? And that'll lift the pin up. You see that? As you, we're basically pushing, in this case, you're pushing down because it's mounted Euro style. But you turn that and it's gonna, the flag is gonna lift up on things. Um, so rather than feeling if a, uh, if a pin moves by lifting like that, right? You can feel if it's springy or it's stuck. With this, you'll be rotating it and you'll feel either it's, you know, springy or it's stuck, you can't turn. So doing that, we'll go ahead and um, put this in here. And uh, the first pin, I can feel it's not moving. I'll go to the second, uh, I can feel springy. Third, I can feel springy and so on, right? So we'll go ahead and that first pin wasn't moving, so we'll go ahead and push on it. There we go, click, and now you see it's jiggling. Um, you can look at my uh, jiggle test video to understand the difference in pin states between binding, springy, and jiggling. So jiggling is a set pin. It can only move a little bit, right? If I were to move this further, I'd get an overset. So if I if I keep moving that, it, it'll get to a point where it's overset, and now I don't feel anything on the pin. It feels I do feel it. It feels like it's solid. And I keep pushing it, keep pushing it down, right? But it'll never set because uh, it's overset at this point. So I'd have to reset it. So go ahead and set that first pin. Jiggly now. Go. Make sure. Yeah. Second one, I can feel springy. Third one. Uh, seems a bit springy. Fourth one, okay, this one is binding. So I gotta push down on it. If I can get under it. Sometimes it can be tricky to get under stuff. And I might have dropped something while, I, while I'm going at it. Actually, I'm getting stuck, sorry. Um, let's turn this the other way, just to make things a little bit easier. So if you go clockwise, it's gonna have one bind order. If you go counterclockwise, it'll probably have a different bind order. Um, and I think on this one, counterclockwise is actually a little bit easier. So that first one is, is binding. So I'll go ahead and push on that. Click there. And now it's jiggling, you see? Second one, binding. I'm gonna skip the second one for now. I can see the third one is uh, loose, you see that? And the second one's not. So I know the second one I have to push on. And I click there and now it's jiggling. Go make sure the first one, see? Still jiggling. Third one is binding. Oops, slipping around. Click, and now it's jiggling. Fourth one. I have a hard time getting under it, just like I had before going the opposite direction. So hopefully I can get under it. There we go. Click from it, now jiggly. Fifth one, binding. Click from it, jiggly. Sixth one, binding. Trying to get under it. Click from it and we're open. So um, going counterclockwise, the bind order is one through six, so it's easy to demonstrate. Uh, going clockwise, I, I found that I guess it's a little bit harder. One, two, three, four is binding. And it's just, I don't know, it's just hard to get on it. Probably because I'm rotating in the same direction as I'm picking. A lot of times you want to do those in opposite directions. So if I'm rotating clockwise, I'll probably want to pick counterclockwise. So I'd come from the, the right side to pick and I might find it's easier to do this way around um, like that. So that is, uh, I mean, that's a, um, a dimple, which is a type of pin tumbler versus a uh, normal pin tumbler that you might be more familiar with. All right, thanks everyone.